That was weird. Hello? Mom? Mr. Trosberry? Anybody? All right, we are back to a little banger known as Jenny LeClue, Detective Vu. We are rendezvousing with possibly a new client. Somebody has hired us for a case and we're here to kind of meet them, see what's up. Hopefully you've caught the first two videos. If not, upper right corner of the screen should guide you in case you've missed any. As I mentioned with the last video, if there's enough support, we will continue going forward, do an entire playthrough. Second video went up, kind of lukewarm reception, so we'll see how this continues going forward or not. I'd like to, but if there's not enough, you know, interest, I might as well use my time for other stuff you guys might find more engaging, so we'll see how it plays out. As Jenny neared the edge of the woods, should I be doing this in the, the, the writer voice? I think I should, probably should. As Jenny neared the edge of the woods, She heard a sudden, strange sound. It's a falling wrench from the sky. Apparently, God was working on some pipes or something. Who knows? What the? Hey, kid. Watch where you're going. Hey, screw you. you ne your wrench nearly cracked my head open. Oh, no. It's not damage, is it? <laughs> That's my lucky wrench. Yeah, lucky it didn't kill me. When's this upgrade gonna be finished anyway? Look, kid, I just go where they tell. Every night, another power surge. Every morning, another power of the grid fried. And I'm out here fixing. Do I get any thanks? No. What's causing all the outages? At the moment, a little red-headed girl. Now throw me my wrench, kid. <laughs> well, we are detected. Let's be a bit more inquisitive. Looks like I have all the leverage. So tell me, what exactly is taking so long with these repairs? Apart from shoddy workmanship, that is. Hey! We're busting our butts to keep your lights on. These lies should be lasting for decades, but they're burning out after just a few weeks. It's the strangest thing. Anyway. Toss me my wrench. But be careful, it's a family heirloom. Fortunately for us, we are not dead yet. We are supposed to die, but luckily that wrench wasn't uh, the culprit. Apparently we could search something around here. What do we got, boys? Oh, 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 oh tricky. See, I thought you were pulling my leg. I was like, oh, come on, there's something here. We got a scrap. Oh, the postcard. Oh, nice. All right, so that's, that's still going. So the entire case is probably all four of these postcards, is what I'm thinking. As Jenny stepped out of the dark forest, she saw warm sunlight reflecting off the cool lake. And next to that, something even cooler. <laughs> what the hell is that? Keith Strasberry. Oh, the, the son of, um, Dean. Come on, Keith. Dance like you beaned. Not so much grinding. Oh, the puns are killing. I'm gonna give these girls a talking to. I will even call parents if I have to. Believe you me. Restores dignity, absolutely. I think there's been enough dancing for one day, don't you? Hey, Jenny. Hello, Sue. Actually, actually, I prefer Susie. Busy laughing while others earn a living, Susan. Not everyone's got your dad's money, I guess. Susan! Wow. Stung. Uh, Jenny, hi! Keith Strasberry, son of Dean Strasberry, bench warmer, gumbled moonbeams, best friend ever. Tall and handsome with intense, mysterious eyes. Cool should have been his middle name. Instead of talking. But Keith was so cool. He didn't even mind. Give me one minute. I'm just finishing. Sure. Don't let me interrupt your work. Uh, my shift ends in 15 minutes. I know. I'm early. I'm meeting a client over at the dock. Paid case. Could be big. Real big. Uh, couldn't be as big as her head. What are you talking about, her head? All of you guys have big heads. Wow. 
That's really impressive, maybe. All I care about is keeping this town crime free. The only crime here is that haircut. <laughs> Let's continue onwards. Talk to Brett. Oh, sure. Who is Brett? Uh, how about now? Move it to the left a bit. What's he doing up there? Not now, kid. We're busy. A any better? No, keep going. Now? Yes, it's working. Hold it right there. That's what the fuss is all about? Not this guy again. What is that? Whatever it is, it's not my music. Maybe it's... Jazz? Shh, I'm trying to listen. You sure? I'm the DJ, I'm in charge. When's this party getting started, boys? Oh, uh, just a few more minutes. How are we supposed to dance to this? I, I think we're losing them. Another station must be interfering with the signal. But there aren't any other stations in order. Wait, all these wires must be acting as a giant antenna. Jenny listened closely to the mysterious transmission. It was like no other radio broadcast she'd heard before. Hold it steady. Uh, sorry, I'm trying. Jenny was so lost in contemplation she had almost forgotten the case at hand. My client! I'm supposed to meet her at the dock. I thought we were meeting a female. Talk to Dan. Aha! I've got you this time, you slippery fella! Ah, oh, chucks. Just another boot. Um, um, excuse me, Mr. Humdrum? Oh my, if it isn't little Jenny like Lou. What a glorious day, don't you think? As far as Jenny was concerned, small talk was like a second pair of underpants. Uncomfortable and completely unnecessary. I'm the same way. But Mom always says, create a good report and they'll reveal everything to you. So she gave it the shot. Let's talk about fishing. That's what he's doing. How's the fishing? Oh, the fishing's great, but the catching is bad. All I'm getting are old boots and strange bits of metal. Strange bits of metal, huh? That could be the lake from the start of the game, actually, now that I think about it. Down we go. Talk to Mrs. Humdrum. Rendezvous with Gale. Mrs. Humdrum, I presume? Oh, hello. Er, you. I'm the private detective you contacted. The code word is Purple Panda. I'm here to solve your case. Who is it, Dan? It's Jenny, dear, the, the clue girl. She doesn't see so well without her glasses. Oh, hello, Jenny. I I'm afraid I didn't see so well without my glasses. Nothing wrong with her hearing, though. What did she say? I said there's nothing wrong with your hearing, dear. Oh, no, thank you. I've, I've already eaten. <laughs> I, I believe you have a case for me. Well, we do, we do. Great. So, what's the trouble? Haunted by the ghost of a former lover? Worried you're being poisoned by a mad uncle? Something so dark and gruesome I can't even begin to imagine the horror? Well... I've lost my reading glasses. Oh. The case of the missing glasses, all right. We're still not into the mystery just yet, but you know what? We're getting it. This is all preparing us. Expensive hairdo. Over six inches. Looks freshly blow-dried. A professional job. Your hair looks lovely today, Mrs. Humdrum. Is that a new style? Oh, thank you. I had it done yesterday. Dan didn't notice. <laughs> you know, men, right, ladies? <laughs> They call it the Queen's Coif. It's quite a name. Well, it's certainly big. And expensive. But I'm worth it, Dan. Oh, who could put a price on that beautiful head of hair? You're not so bad yourself, hot stuff. It's getting kind of weird. I've never been interrogated before. 
This is such fun. It's, it's not supposed to be fun. Okay, let's see here. Something in the nose? Did you get a nose job too or what? Missing or stolen? Recent. Oh, she's got the indentations on the nose. Ah. Jenny recognized the distinctive indentations left behind by a pair of spectacles. She must have been wearing them recently. You still have marks from your glasses on the bridge of your nose. You probably lost them within the last day or two. Oh, I never would have thought of that. When do you last remember wearing them? I'm really not sure. Dan? You had them at your Tuesday book club. Oh, yes. We were reading Fifty Shady Graves. That sounds familiar. Ah, here we go. Seems to be... Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it would be like a similar ticket to like the one that we saw in CJ. Flea Biscuit, as opposed to Sea Biscuit. She was um, at the races or what? Risk taker, bad odds. Jenny had often snuck through the hole in the fence at Groovements to watch the races. She could never understand why the dogs ran so hard. They were chasing the promise of food. What the adults were chasing was less relatable. I notice you're a gambler, Mrs. Humdrum. Give me to the Greyhound races. That was yesterday. We always go to the Grubman's on Wednesday. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, we got a tear in the pants. Yo, what kind of freaky stuff you been getting into here, huh, Mrs. Grubman? Snagged on something. That's a large hole. She must have caught it on something. Did you have trouble climbing down the ladder, Mrs. Humdrum? Why, yes, I did. How on earth did you know? There's a tear in your pants pocket. Well, what do you know? I didn't realize these pants even had pockets. Have you figured it out yet? The suspense is killing me. Advanced missing technique. Nice use of colors. Patella blue. Strong smell of turpentine. I expect you're finding it difficult to paint without your glasses. Oh no, I never wear them when I paint. I like to feel the canvas. To interpret the colors. Apparently she's Bob Ross. Alright, so we got the old binos here. 30 times magnification, fixed eye cups. Do you often carry a pair of binoculars? She doesn't go anywhere without them. I presume you don't wear your glasses when you use the binoculars? Oh no, I can't get my eyes closed enough to the eye cups. Hmm, I see. Did you take your binoculars with you to the races? Of course! Those little critters are so tiny, I can't keep up without my binos. Interesting. So, are you... you are so thorough. Any more questions? I think I have everything I need to wrap this one up. Alright, so what are we thinking here? I know for a fact... The pocket, that's obsolete. Because, as she just mentioned, she wasn't even aware that the pants had pockets, so that... Off the table. Gail doesn't wear her glasses while painting. So, she wouldn't need them right now. Gail was at the Greyhound races. On Tuesday night, she took her binoculars. Gail removes her glasses when she uses the binoculars. So definitely these two for a fact, and I'm thinking maybe the haircut? Because this happened Tuesday morning. And this happened Tuesday night. Gail was at the races last night. She had to remove her glasses to use binoculars. Gail also had her haircut recently. It's fluffy and big and could easily hide a small object. Oh no. <laughs> It's in the freaking air! Solving a complex mystery like the case of the missing glasses was tough work. <laughs> but now came the most satisfying part. Delivering the dramatic denouement. Detective, mystery writer. I, I don't know what you're asking of me. Detective? Sure. Let's review the facts. One, not only do you love your binoculars, You've come to depend on them for bird watching, greyhound watching, basically anything far away watching. That's true. I immediately sense that the two optical devices, your binoculars and glasses, were incompatible. Thus, to use one, you had to remove the other. Fascinating. Fact two. Yesterday you changed your hairstyle. I did. Though fun, it was also impractical. And so tall that I could easily conceal a small object. I see where this is going. Please, don't interrupt. After much research, deliberation, and debate, 
I've concluded there's only one place the missing glasses can be. They've been on your head the whole time. They even came out on their own to say hello. Oh, so they are. Right there, on top of my head. Incredible! What a talent! They're always in the last place you look, aren't they? A master detective in the making! What would we have done without you? I mean, get replacements, probably. Ahem. Gail, don't forget to pay the girl. Oh, of course. Silly me. You must be rewarded generously for all your hard work. Just give me a coin. Now, don't spend it all in one place. Thanks, I'll do my best. Are you ready, kid? Wow, what an amazing detective. Glasses on her head, who could have guessed? Oh, you heard. What do we do without a master investigator, Jenny LeClue? I, I thought it was pretty cool, Jenny. And a whole nickel? You must be so excited. Yeah, that's more than her mom makes in a month. Ha 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 Come on, guys, let's all just... Hey, Jenny, my grandma called. She wants her sweater back. Ha 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 Ho ho! How wonderful it was to joke around with friends. I've had enough of this. Oh? Oh! Oh, yo, what are we gonna do right now? You gonna insult her style or what? Creased. New. Always wearing. Brushed over face. <laughs> What's the conclusion here? Be mean before <laughs> we gotta be really mean. Shirt iron, but unevenly. The work of a distracted housewife. Brand new, hideously overpriced shoes. Overcompensating father. Your dad's sleeping with Deborah's mom again, isn't he? Oh, no! Yo, the big guns! <laughs> Just shut up, Jenny. You don't know anything. Wow, Jenny, that was cruel. You, you want some too, lady? You best get on out of here. Who even says something like that? Oh, don't cry, Veronica. She's just a weirdo nobody. Jenny Lehu. And in the case of the missing friends, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, good one, Veronica. Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> the case of the missing friends. It's really funny in a corny, corny way. Are you coming, Susie? Thanks for the coffee, kid. And the extra sugar. Of course, it's... Nothing special at all, and the same thing he does for everyone. Oh. Okay. See you around, kid. Yo, Jenny! Why you gotta... Why you gotta block the boy? That was going somewhere. That was going somewhere. Well, that went well. Shall we? Er... Yeah. We got no customers now, anyway. Chucks. I see practice is going well. Is your dad still pressuring you to play? Well... Come on, kid. You hate basketball. And tough love, but you're the worst player on the team. Not the wor- Well, on the bench anyway. Why don't you just tell him you don't want to play anymore? It's... a strawberry tradition. That's my point, kid. This whole town is dead, stuck in the past. Everyone is just gonna do what they're told without questioning why. Where's the ambition? The sense of adventure? Are we still talking about basketball? Trick shot time. That was a little tricky. How's your mom? She seems... distracted. Normally she's so focused on her job. I mean, it's understandable. It's been almost a year since. Now she's planning to go away for the weekend, and she still won't tell me why. Yeah? She was definitely acting weirder earlier. Maybe she's... lonely? You know what? You're right. I am? She shouldn't be alone right now. Actually, your dad told me they were meeting in the library. We're going to need supplies. Two of Mr. Bean's finest, please. To go, of course. 
Here's my payment in full. That's a nickel. Put the rest on my tab? Thanks for the pep talk, Eid. You always know how to make me feel better. Last stone? Do you want it? Ah, you go ahead and throw it, Eid. You take it. You need to practice. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Three-pointer. Nice one, kid. Maybe your luck's finally changing. Oh. So that explains the power outages, huh? That's a lot of cables. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I guess we're back in the library now. Yeah. The library was quiet. Too quiet. No one on duty. A book thief's paradise. That was weird. Hello? Mom? Mr. Trosberry? Anybody? Jenny's words echoed through the library. Something's not right here. A mystery was unfolding. Whatever it is, I'll get to the bottom of it. It's too quiet. Alright guys, with that I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. I'm going to leave a thumbs up if I've mentioned the second video. Didn't really do too well, at least as of right now, it went live today. So hopefully, this bounces back up, and if it does, we'll continue going forward. If not, I might just kind of go ahead and put my interest in something else that you guys are going to enjoy. As an entirety, as opposed to just a couple of people. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. We'll see how it plays out. I will catch you next time.